Hello, it's Jilly Tamar from Earth Realms Readings and I am here with your August Energy card reading. And again, I'm using Oracle cards, so I'm just going to show you which cards I'm using. This deck here is my own creation and I call it the, um, I just call it um, Always Follow Your Heart quotes Oracle deck. I have made this myself. Then this one is the Goddess Love Oracle deck by Wendy Andrews. We have the Animal Druid Oracle deck over here, or Druid Animal Oracle deck rather. Then this one in the middle is an independent deck and you can get it um, online but I bought it from a fair and it's called Seraph Souls Oracle deck and it's very angelic. And this final card here is from the deck, the Crystal Alley, Alley cards. I'm not sure if that deck's still in print or not. So I'm going to read for the energies of August with these cards. So I'm going to turn this card over first. And what we have here is walk on the wild side. So this is about expressing your freedom, being you, being daring. Allowing yourself to escape the norm and just dive in and enjoy and do something that you wouldn't normally do. We're coming to the peak of summer and August is like the pinnacle of summer before we dive down into September. And we can start to notice the changes in the air with the colder mornings and the nights drawing in. So this card here is all about just being wild for one more time. Enjoy the wildness, be free, enjoy the summer and do something wild, do something different. Maybe even do some wild camping if you can and go out, enjoy nature and walk on the wild side, literally. And that's all about doing this last thing for the summer before things start to wind down. If you can, go out and wild gather wild flowers or wild herbs ensuring of course that you don't overdo it only take a percentage and leave a percentage so that they can reflower next year or reseed but be wild that's what this message is go out into nature wild camp have a picnic do something spontaneous for the summer before those nights draw in and the weather changes so that it means we're indoor more. So that's the message in that card. We have here, this is from the um, Love Goddess Oracle deck, and this is about radiance. So rejoice in your life. It kind of really pairs nicely with this one. Um, so I'm going to read these two together here because you've got walking on the wild side but you've got the radiance with it because when you do something spontaneous it radiate it it brings radiance to you it, it it lights you up it brings you joy so i think these two kind of really do go well together so enjoy the last few weeks of freedom and if we read the quote around here it's rejoice make love celebrate and it's a very very lovely card with flora so this might be about going out and harvesting the last of the wild herbs or plants that you need in your workings or it might be about wild camping but it's also about taking in the colors around you particularly as the colors are going to start changing within the next few weeks august is a time when the leaves on the trees start to look a bit jaded and you know that within a few weeks they're going to start changing into those beautiful vibrant orange reds and browns so this is a time to start looking for subtle changes in nature looking for the season because we're coming we're heading we've we've approached and come into Lammas and if you can hear rumbling, we've got some thunder coming in. So, yes, we have a summer storm. Uh, we've had quite a few of them. But yeah, we've, we're in Lammas. First of August is usually Lammas. And then we're going to head on then 
through to the 21st of September, which I know this reading doesn't cover, but the elements are there of what some people call Mabon. I personally call it the autumn equinox. So we've got these energies here, this energy of change, going out, enjoying the last of the summer, gathering what you need in nature, but leaving enough behind for wild animals, the bees, and so that plants can seed for next year. So that's the message in these cards here. This next card here is from the Druid Animal, and this is Salmon. Salmon is about wisdom. This is a fish that once a year actually swims upstream against the current to lay eggs. So it's a very... And it, it knows where it's going. It doesn't have to be told. It doesn't need directions. It... There's, it's in its cellular memory, memory that it knows where it's going. So this is a card of wisdom. So as the summer is coming to a close, maybe now as things are starting to quiet down, maybe now it's the time to gather wisdom, maybe wisdom around local folklore or the local flora and fauna that pertains to the area within which you live. And it's about gathering wisdom and working with that wisdom. This is also a card maybe about memories, looking into your memory. I don't mean memories like a, a, a memory from childhood. I'm going a meaning further back than that. Maybe cellular memory, ancestral memory. And that may be something to consider working along the along the lines of ancestral memory because now the nights are drawing in we're not far off Samhain that's only going to be in a few weeks time so this is the time to start to think about working with the ancient ones the ancestors so that's the message in this card this card is the independent seraph souls angel deck but all beautiful photographs and we have here self-healing archangel raphael and this is just a beautiful, beautiful picture. It, it's such a nice picture and it has a lovely healing energy. And I'm just going to read the back for you. Listen to your body. Are there some messages or signs there? An ache here, a reaction to certain types of food. Become a little more aware of what your body is trying to tell you and make subtle changes to your patterns of exercise. Sleep and eating habits that provide you with better health and more energy. Archangel Raphael is providing this guidance into self-healing for yourself and this knowledge will also be beneficial to others who you may then subsequently offer advice to. So you could look at this on a deeper level as well because this card actually does talk about making changes. Um, we are, because summer's coming to a close and we're heading into autumn there are going to be changes there are going to be changes in the flora and fauna around us we are also going to be changing our diet particularly if you eat seasonally or particularly if you are self-sufficient in that you grow your own fruit and vegetables because now is the time that we're harvesting those so your diet will change if you eat seasonally the environment around you is changing because the leaves are starting to change. Things are reaching the peak and they're going to die back. And also the climate around you is changing because we're going to get cooler. It's going to get cooler. So, yes, this is about changes, but it's also adapting to those changes and self-healing, using self-healing to adapt to those changes. Bring in a cooler energy for self-healing this time of year and allow yourself to just walk in the flow of this changing season which is coming so that's another thing to consider the final card here is from the crystal alley cards i'm really not certain if this card is card deck is still in print or not i was lucky and i got it from a charity shop for about two or three pound and um, I did see it in a crystal shop 
in my nearest city that's the nearest city to my mother and when I asked and inquired about the price there it was over a hundred pound so I think I did pretty well getting it for a couple of quid in the charity shop so this is sacred sounds and if you notice all the cards kind of have that green theme going through and there are rumbles of thunder in the background you may they may the camera may pick them up so we're looking here at sacred sounds and sacred sounds could be literally sacred sounds such as listening to meditation music as we wind down from the summer practicing meditation and following the rhythm of meditation music binaural beats um, those hertz frequency style meditation music but another sacred sound could be listening to the sounds in nature bird song the sounds of the environment and i don't mean traffic i'm talking about the um the um sea the crashing of waves upon the shore the burbling of a brook or river so they are just as much sacred sounds as are tibetan singing bowls tuning forks or anything like that so it's about using sacred sound to wind down from the summer and allow the energies of the autumn to come in because although we are still in summer to me august is about change i can always and I've heard this spoken about before. Many people have mentioned this, but they do notice that frisson of change in the air during August as we're kind of summer's beginning to wind down and we're entering change. We're entering the very early stages of autumn. So it's about incorporating those sacred sounds, either by winding down into a meditative state, preparing for the cooler months ahead or just some kind of new practice so the energies really for august are about change winding down and self-healing and inner wisdom so what i will say to you all is this reading is for everybody who happens to come up on it and see it and just take away what resonates with you and what doesn't leave behind and let it go. And as I say, you might find that some cards read or resonate with you better than others. So I hope you enjoy August and I will catch you in September for our next energy reading. Blessed be.